Hello, Air Signs. It's Ariana Luciano, and I am bringing you the energy or a reading that um, is for the week of June 5th through 11th. And so before you, you see your four guardians, um, the four cherubs. And with this, we're going to see what kind of energy they're protecting and giving us information on. So um, real quickly, so the Carob of Wands is going to be the Carob of Arrows as far as and he is here bringing wisdom, knowledge, and information. The care of the wands is protecting us and um, giving us aid and inspiration. And then the care of uh, cups is bringing us love, cleansing, and um, fertility. And the, the care of disc is the one who's bringing everything into manifestation, you know, in the materialistic way, something that you can feel and see. So with that being said, um, please watch my video on the carrots to get a little bit more clarity on um, how they're used. Um, this, these cards that I'm using today, well, the cards that I use all the time, <laughs> are from Sandra Tao with the Cicero, and they're called the Babylonian Tarot. And I'll be using the overall energy with that of the Shaman's Oracle. So, without further ado, let's see what these cards have to say for you for the week of June 5th to 11th for the next time. Okay, let's see what you have to say. All right, let's see here. We have the Cure of Arrows. So we have Six of Discs. Our lion-headed spirit who's protecting us is the universe. We love wands reverse. And our disc is protecting us from the devil. All right, our overall energy is that of the Prince of Cups. Look at this little handsome guy. <laughs> All right, so let's see what we got going on this week, um, Bear Signs. <sighs> we have the Six of Discs, and we're getting information about either protect, not protection, about assistance and help. And I feel like um, it's either you're going to help somebody or somebody's going to help you. I see, uh, I see the bull in the beginning, and then I also remember the carob is the bull-headed spirit. And he was at the end. So possibly some Taurus energy coming in or some very grounded energy that's going to offer you this help. Um, but the, the, the information is that the help is coming. The, whatever you're looking for, it's, it's going to come. And that you're also going to be given the opportunity to help others. And so like business is going to be going good. You know, things are going really well for you at the beginning of the week. Um, and you're going to be getting information. Maybe you're going to get a new job. Maybe it's going to be a raise. But um, you're getting some kind of assistance messages. And um, you're going to be able to share this with, with others. And others are going to want to share with you. And so as far as your protection, I'm seeing the universe. And a little story about the universe. Um, this is Anki. And it's actually the combination of two deities. An, which is really Anu which is the sky god, and Ki, or Kai, who is really Aruru, the empress. So the literal meaning of An and Ka, um, Ki is heaven and earth. So I kind of feel like my air signs are going through. Let me just read the rest of it. So according to the Iridu version of the creation, An and Ki were both from Namu, the primordial goddess of the sea, siblings and lovers. And the pair were inseparable while still in their mother's womb and just as inseparable after they were born. Okay? They were not An and Ki, heaven and earth, but Anki, heaven and earth. One single divine being. From the union was born Elil, the, um, the god of air, who separated his two parents. Okay? And he took the heaven for his abode and Ki took the earth for her home. And Elil ruled the air that rested between them. Thus, the universe was created. Okay, so this is attributed to both Saturn and the element of Earth. Okay, so this is there's a lot of Earth signs going on over here. Okay, so we got we got some disc, 
we got this that's attributed to Earth. We have the Capricorn, which is attributed uh, the Capricorn, the Devil, which is attributed to Capricorn. Right um, behind him is the Bull. So I'm feeling like um, air signs. You're dealing with some um, with some earthy energy um, that's coming through. Okay, so um, basically what I'm getting from the universe, and I'm telling you this, and as I'm telling you this, I feel like. I'm being pulled myself like I don't know what you're going through but there was um, somebody that you felt really really close to um, and every time they're around it's like a karmic thing you feel like you don't know where they end and where you begin and um, the, the thing is it's like something has come and it's ripping it apart and and it's not the most pleasant feeling um, but the cycle is over um, and it's time to time to go. It's time to move on. Um, it's time to move to the next um, to the next thing. Um, you're coming full circle. Whatever movement, whatever travel that's happening, it's going to be okay. But I'm also picking up truth and honesty. And I think we're going to roll with truth and honesty because I see the devil at the end, and I just want to be fair. So then I also see like these really pretty blues, like. Everything that's upright is a really pretty blue, right? And then we get to this reverse card, which is from the Carib of Cups. And the Carib of Cups is telling us that the Ace of Wands, which is supposed to be a blessing, is reversed. And so my question is, why is it reversed? Hmm. You're getting the information you need. You're getting the help you need. You're getting everything you want financially, it seems like. But you feel like something's being ripped apart from you. And what this ace is telling me is that it's just not a good time to start something. Almost like um, you see how the, uh, the ace has the two lion heads and one head is looking at the universe and the other head is looking at the um, at Lamatsu, at the devil. And it's like shining its light. Almost like um, it's just not a good time for you to start something. So aces, aces for me are always like um, a gift from the heavens. And an, a, a wand is illuminating. It's to bring things to life, to bring it to our awareness. And since it's next to the devil, this is something that has to be dealt with. It's not something that you're going to be able to walk away from or, you know, throw to the side. It needs to be dealt with now, okay? And this is telling me that it's... Um, a project or a bad time to start something you need to look for new ways to solve your problems okay walking away from it and pretending like it doesn't exist and and, and acting like everything's okay um, that might have worked for you in the past but it's not going to work for you now so this is the situation that you have to face and I feel like it's a karmic situation with the universe and with uh, the devil here and um, I feel like you're being, actually, if you look at it, you have a major Acarnia card, a blessing in disguise, okay? Because you think that it's not a blessing, but it really is a blessing. And then you have the devil, okay? And so I feel like the care of, of, of cups is trying to cleanse and bless the situation and kind of shine some light, but it's like... Um, it's not the light you want to see because it's telling you, hey, this this is not this isn't good. Bad bad things, you know. Like you're not getting you're not getting the whole picture of what needs to be seen. So keep in mind on and key, correct? Okay. So we have Lamatsu, and Lamatsu is the devil, okay? He's one of the most feared entities in Babylon, okay? More than just a demoness. She was called Lamatsu. <laughs> she was a demigoddess and the daughter of Anu. Okay, so we have, um, they've mentioned the daughter and they've mentioned the son now. Do you understand where I'm going with this? This is this could possibly mean family issues for some, some of you guys. But then I also feel like this is a relationship issue for others. So Anu was the father of the sky god, which ripped him and his lover apart, which is Kai, which is Aruru. 
and also the father of the demigoddess Lamatsu. Okay, and Lamatsu used to like go and cause miscarriages and kill infants. Like they were really, um, she was the one who, who was known for erasing. So I feel like the energy that you're trying to be protected from is someone who's trying to erase things so that you can't see clearly. They're trying to, um, they're a succubus. <laughs> yeah, they're trying to seduce you, okay? So this the card is attributed to the sign of Capricorn. And, um, you know, she's basically seducing you. This is an energy that is all about possessions, sexuality, sensuality, hedonism, temptation, self-deception, illusion, perceptions, just distortedness, just tied to a situation. You are karmically tied to a situation because you need to learn this lesson. Um, I meant to say Aquarius, sorry. Um, air signs, it's time to learn your lesson. So when I'm looking at the numbers, I see... Um, 15 and the number 15 tells me do not allow others to get close until trust has been built so there's someone who's trying to get close to you air signs and there you don't fully have the information and you feel like it's ripping your world apart whether it's in business and love at the home whatever it is you don't have all the information and when I add the one and the five I get a six and the number six is means that it's time to change. So it's time to change air signs because you are off your course. So as I'm looking at this, I'm getting almost a story that the divine aid is coming to help you to not feel like your world is going to be ripped apart or that it's being ripped apart. Because I think that if you would have progressed into this and the wand would have been upright, it would have not worked in your favor. So it's a good thing that this thing didn't work out because you're being seduced by this, um, by this Capricorn or by the devil, Lamatsu, who's trying to use um, sensuality, sexual force, reproduction, you know, just, just things that just to tie you to them, you know. So this is where you have to like take that step back. And like I said, for some, this is about relationships. And for some, this is about relationships with the family. Because, you know, we have a father, a mother, and a son, and a daughter that have been mentioned already um, in one reading. So um, with that being said, I just need you to kind of harness the energy of the moon this, um, this week. This is the um, June moon is on the 4th. And it's basically telling us to better our communication and also um, build better relationships so take that into heat take that into um, into consideration so let, let's kind of look at this overall energy so here he is this prince of cups in bililu i hope i said it right and once again you got more blues so i feel like this is a very emotional situation and when when I see the Prince of Cups, I know that when he shows up, it's a deep relation with karmic ties. So um, this is a karmic lesson, um, air signs. And take it to heart and um, really, really focus on what the devil is trying to show you because you need to shine that light on it. And the Carob of Cups is telling you, not now. Take a step back. Wait. Wait for things to happen. So the energy from the, the um, Prince of Cups is um, kind of volatile and mysterious sometimes and erratic. It can be sublime but yet destructive. Um, almost like something that could really be bad but it looks really calm. So for some, you're just going to get sideswiped by this, by this Prince of Cups. You know, he's going to come in and sweep you up and he's going to, not be what he's saying he is and then for others this person is going to bring you a message or some news maybe through text through email social media but it's from a younger person and this person's very artistic and um but passive withdrawn and not committed so if this is a family situation it might be one of your younger brothers or something like that because you're going to get some information 
And since he's facing dead on into the reading, like if I were had it laid out the way I would do it, he's looking straight at me. And so this is someone who's not going anywhere anytime soon. Um, he's here to stay. And you see he's got his little ace of cups up there. Okay? So he has a lot of love to bring you and a lot of information. And I just think that um, this is a karmic lesson for you guys to learn. And if I tie it together, and, while I'm shuffling my oracle cards, when I tie it together and I look at the assistance being torn apart like from the one thing you want to be closest to, because you're karmically bound and tied to this, um, to not getting the green light, to not being able to pursue it, and for this little outcome to, not a little outcome, sorry, for this, for Lamont to, to show up at the end and hold you down and make you see things that aren't really there to, to deceive you. There's some deception going on. And um, I think we said we had two sixes, right? Um, so you, you must have faith. So you got to have faith and you have to trust. It says trust your partner, whether it's a business deal or a relationship. But you're going to have to trust in them. But I really feel like you need to trust in yourself because the Caribs are bringing you information. So when I think of the story of An and Ki and being torn apart, I just feel like this is a situation that needs more light. You know, you're torn apart by your son and then by your daughter. It's, she's just deceiving you. So I don't know what, what, what it is that's going on. It could be, like I said, business related. It could be involving with a Capricorn and an air sign. But um, I get a lot of air, you know, and, and the, king of, the king of arrows is in here. On and key are in here. So this is pretty intense. Let's go ahead and see what the Shaman Oracle wants to tell us. And we have the Spirit of Truth. Hmm. Let's see how this ties into each other. <laughs> see things for what they are, air signs. I am the Spirit of Truth, upon which all things are built. You need to accept the reality of things as they are, okay? Um, I do not turn away from truth, however harsh it may seem, and my steps are always fueled with purpose and determination to penetrate to the heart of the matter. What is at the heart of the matter? What is it? Um, so as we walk our chosen path, it helps us to measure our progress accurately and um, usefully punctures our self-delusions, which is the devil, okay? And gives us a truer understanding of anyone in route who might offer us false security or seductive rewar rewards, which is um, the devil. Or it could be this Prince of Cups, a water sign. But, but someone is deceiving, okay? The, interpret the interpretation for this card is called facing the truth with your open eyes, responding to the challenges with honesty and truth, and I have belief in the truthfulness of others. Seen beyond illusion and clear-sightedness. Okay. So we have this. Okay. So you wanted something to happen. And he's blessing it. Okay. And he's like, hold on. This isn't the right time. Don't do it. And then you have this. The devil is facing an archangel, basically, the carob of disc. And he's saying, wait, this is illusion. This is deception. This isn't what they say they are. Are you sure you want to do this? Because you don't have the green light. Are you sure? And the spirit of truth is coming in and saying, hey, face reality. See things for what they are. And accept the ace of, of wands reversed as your blessing in disguise. So air signs. Harness the energy of the moon. 
and think about the moon illuminating truth and honesty in your life. Okay, and whatever is tearing you apart inside and making you feel torn and, and just hurt because you've lost something you hold so dear, remember that that energy also created the universe. So that energy can also create something for you and something for others. So harness that, build relationships with people, accept the support, give the support, be a part of something. Don't isolate yourself. Don't be in, delu in illusion and, and, and disarray because the devil is saying that, oh, there's no way to get out of this. Okay? And if there's an offer that sounds too good to be true, guess what, guys? It just might be. So this is, the, this is the divine aid and protection that your cherubs are trying to bring you. And just know that your carob of cups is purifying your your. You're, you being torn apart too because if, if we look at it this way I'm sorry I'm going too long if we look at it like this he's like don't worry I got you I'm bringing love and I'm bringing I'm bringing fertility and I'm bringing everything you need so don't feel like you're torn it's too, it too shall pass okay so hopefully that resonated with you um Please like, share, and subscribe. Uh, let me know if you like the reading with the with the carobs. I really love using my carobs. Um, like I said in one video, they were really so hard for me at the beginning, but now I like I look for them in readings. I'm like, where are you at? I need some more. I need some more um, divine intervention. So um, once again, thank you, Air Signs. I hope you have a beautiful week. And please, please, please um, come back and check me out and leave me some comments. Let me know what you guys think. Thank you.